Okay, okay. Um, <laughs> I am here with um, Josh Taylor, and uh, I'm super excited about this. And I know I say that all the time, but uh, here with here with Josh. And um, Josh, where, where, are you, where are you dialing in from? Um, I'm coming to you from Fountainville, Pennsylvania, in all the right. U.S. of A., brother. <laughs> and, and, I'm, and I'm loving your your office. And um, I'll give some people a little bit of context first, so they can. They can, you got the bikes in the background, but, but Josh has, has been a, um, uh, you know, a, a global spinning ambassador for over 20 years. He really is the face of spinning. I remember when the e-spinner came out, oh my goodness gracious, uh, a very long time ago, and it was your face on there. You know, you really are the godfather of spinning. Um, you know, you are massive in, in Europe, massive in the US. Um, you know, to give some context here, Josh, We'll do um, uh, cycle events in Italy and get literally thousands of people. How many people did you get at your last one, Josh? Uh, let's see. Well, uh, I was just in Italy when when uh, all this went crazy uh, yeah. a couple months ago. Yeah, we had that event is called International Master Days 2020, and they, it's it's in a huge arena. They bring in you know five to six hundred bikes, and we probably had throughout the weekend that that event went on thirteen hundred people. Fourteen hundred. That's awesome. Yeah. Just cycling and, and just going for it, you know, and you're a former competitive athlete as well, right? Yeah. Yeah. I was a, uh, that's how I ended up getting into spinning. Uh, bike racing has been my, my passion, my life for a lot of years. I race as a professional domestically uh, on, a, on a bunch of U S professional teams. Uh, back in the day I was racing against guys like Lance and, you know, some of these just yeah. huge names. Uh, Cycling gave me so much, and then I ended up getting into spinning. I, I met Johnny years ago, or 22 years ago, something like that. And, uh, you know, he kind of resonated with me. I resonated with the program uh, just because of its mind-body uh, and how beautiful that is. You know, the cool thing with spinning that I really latched onto back then was – you know, when you're on a road bike, you've got to pay attention to everything that's around you, whether you're in a race and it's other riders, the road, the terrain, you know, the weather. And spinning, when it when that first started, I could close my eyes, man, and go full tilt and work on me. It was so different. It was, it was such a neat. And then with the music aspect and the inspirational aspect of it, I was just, I was sold 100%. And ever since I've been... Uh, enjoying this journey it it's it's been such a, a great thing to be part of and, and watch it grow globally so yeah and you know what you but you bring so much more as well you've got a real energy and and i love the conversations that we we, we, we get to connect on a, on a fairly regular basis about the industry and ideas and you've always got lots of ideas and and for example if you turn your head a little josh you might see that black the bike behind josh you know i mean look at that it's branded up I love that. So Josh, did, I, I called Josh one day and uh, he said, oh, oh my God, you got to see this bike that, that, I've, that I've got. And it was this red bike with flames coming down that had been specifically, you know, um, uh, sprayed up. And I was like, I've got to have one. So we ended up getting a couple. Uh, we got one for the Chicago Club and, and it's now like, you know, it's a symbol of, of, our, of our ride program in our studio. And I love that, you know, let's just challenge the norm and do something different. You know, I think that's super cool. Yeah, you know, these, these bikes behind me represent, uh, so I, I do a lot of themed rides globally, right? I mean, if you're going to walk into an arena with five, 600 people, you got to be prepared with a theme, an inspirational uh, aspect, uh, a great workout, you know, music, lighting, visuals. It, it's, it's kind of a crazy environment that I have to play in, but these bikes, um, Bunch of years back, we started we started raffling off bikes. We would have a couple painted at the same time. One would go to spinning or myself, <laughs> yeah. and the other we would raffle off for a charity. And they've sort of become an icon, even for us at our events, um, you know, around the world. So these most of these actually these three bikes were painted by Nub Graphics, which you guys have your bikes painted by. And if anybody's familiar with Orange County Choppers, that TV show that used to run, Nub is the painter that used to paint yep. those, you know, hundred thousand dollar motorcycles. And, uh, what an amazing guy. He's in upstate New York and I'll walk in there and say, Hey, I'm doing an instinct ride. It's based on animals. And if you see that lion face, yep. it's like our fighter pilot, this one, you know, on my, on my yep. left over here, that's based on a, an F 14 Tomcat squadron. 
the wolf pack and you can see the wolf on it and I'd love to get you up close one day on them, but they are beautiful bikes. Uh, and the cool thing is, is that the design of our bikes allows for this kind of neat paint job. You know, it's got an open frame, a lot of surface yeah. area. So yeah, they, they, they come out awesome. It's different. It's a great story, you know, and <laughs> I, I, I really, really, really do. So Josh, you, I mean, you wear mini hats. You really do. You, you, you do so much for, for, for the, not only the industry, you do a lot of charity work as well, but what hats, you know, do you wear at the moment? Yeah, so right now with spinning, I'm, I'm a global brand ambassador. They use me as much as they can to help promote the brand globally. Um, you know, my racing background, I think, has helped me in that. And then I have a pretty good knowledge of, you know, how the human body should be on a bike and the physiological aspect of that. I got kind of an idea. I, 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 it was a trial by fire because I was a pro bike racer. Uh, you learn that through experience. Then I'm also a senior advisor and a master instructor. The senior advisor role was really the biggest thing for me. Um, I work with Spinning's education department. Um, I help with our master, our global master instructor team, which goes out and does the education for us globally. Um, I help in the marketing department. I'm very tuned into um, our manufacturing process. Uh, we work, I work a lot with our manufacturing partners right now. Precore is, is something yep. that's huge for us. Um, they've done a great job. You guys have Precore spinner bikes at your places. Um, you know, so yeah, I, I kind of like the mechanical aspect a lot. Uh, and I've been doing it so long as a ambassador that I kind of, it's neat for me cause I, I kind of can, I have an ownership in my mind of almost every little aspect of the spinning brand and trying to help it push it to the next level globally. And sure. I'll say this, Richard, what I love about spinning is it, it does have a soul, you know, because spinning is the original indoor cycling program. Um, I'll say it because it, I, I, I can, I feel like because we're the original, it's, it's the one that started the fire and I, yeah, I'm for sure. always really gravitated towards that. And it, I like being part of the original, the OG gang, you know what I mean? The original gangsters. <laughs> you know, the, the, the instructors at, at uh, Midtown Chicago, when you came and did a training for us and, you know, I know we worked closely together on the programming when we opened our Midtown Chicago club, we came up with, you know, some programs because we wanted to have, you know, the party on the bike, which is our vibe ride, which is, you know, yeah. where the music dictates the ride and then PWR, which is more power watts, RPM and more traditional and sense, but still a super fun ride. So there's two different rides and, and you were instrumental in, in, in helping with that. And I know they yeah, that was special uh, to be able to walk into something that you helped create. And, and by the way, you know, for you viewers watching this, I mean, get to Midtown Athletic Club. I, I talk about it all the time, Richard, how amazing that facility is. And, and I mean, you walk into the place and you got, a, what a five-star restaurant. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. But yeah, I mean, it was, it was super cool to be part of that. It was an honor to be part of that, uh, you know, to help your team, you know, bring that ride program up to what it, it is today. Um, you know, you're doing it right. It, you know, it's, I, and that's one of my mantras, do it right or don't do it at all. Um, yeah, I love you know, that. Man. That's something that I feel is very important, you know. And your instructors do practice what they preach, um, which, as you know, Richard, in this industry is sometimes hard to find. So, yeah. being able to be part of that with you guys was uh, was cool. And for us, it's spinning. We we love being part of that. Yeah, you got you got you got some heavy hitters that came in there. You had our yeah, director of our our power programming. You had me come in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was fun. It was really really fun. You know, I believe in education. You know, as as you yeah. do as well. So you know, you're so driven, um, and you've got such a passion for what you do, and 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 you share that globally. But you know, what is your why? You know, what what from inside? What what is your why? Yeah, you know, it's funny. I think about that a lot because I've been doing it a long time. You know, I think for me, it's kind of. It's almost a hard question to, to answer. I, I think there's so many whys um, behind what I do. I, I love it selfishly for myself, and I'll be honest. Um, I'm a very transparent guy most of the time. Um, I actually love spinning, and I love what it's done for me. Um, the sport of cycling has given me so much. It's given me strength. It's given, given me commitment. It's, it's humbled me. And I think when you are part of a great fitness platform like spinning where you can really take somebody no matter where they are in their life 
no matter their fitness, no matter their abilities, and put them on a pretty simple piece of machinery and get them to become the best version of themselves. And, and, I, and I'll preface that, I think everybody has a different idea of what the best version of themselves is. Um, and if you can be a small part of that as an instructor, um, you know, if you're teaching somebody to be stronger, to be more committed, to be uh, more lethal, to, to, to not give up, uh, you know, to be that lion, right? Um, that's something that's special. And, you know, over the years, Richard, you and I have talked about this, you know, we have people that come up to you after class and they might say, hey, you know, I love your classes because you helped me get through chemotherapy. Well, Richard, that, if somebody says something like that to you, the meaning of that class gets a lot bigger really quick, you know? So I think, I think that's my why. I think it's just being able to be part of somebody's journey, even if it's a little bit. Uh, it's, I, it's I, I, love, I love it all. I mean, I've, I've sort of got goosebumps listening to that at the moment because a lot of that resonates with me. It, it really, really does. Um, but what keeps you going? I mean, this is, you know, I was just uh, speaking to someone on the phone just before this actually. And, um, and, uh, and I was, I was talking about, you know, this, this can be a grind, you know, it's, it's, it's day in, day out, you know, it's a lot going on. Um, you know, what, what keeps you going? Yeah, that's a, that, that's a question. Um, yeah, I've been doing it. I mean, to be able to say you've been part of something for over 20 years. I mean, I, I think what keeps me going is just the love of it, Richard. I just I absolutely love cycling in general and the beauty of this original program. You know, I think all the creative aspects that it gives me, it's almost, for me, spinning is like a blank canvas all the time. You know, I've got all these tools. I've got my paintbrush. I've got all the colors I need. I'm, I've, I've gotten fairly efficient at certain things. When I go to paint my classes, whatever it is, there's gonna be some canvases that are bigger, some that are much smaller. But I, I think just having the opportunity to say, hey, this is for this, and this is maybe for this, and now I'm gonna put my artistic oh my touch to this is what keeps me going. I, I love the creative part of- I love the thought of your classes being a canvas, you know? And, yeah. You know, you're what is my ride today? What's my experience, the music and the programming and, you know, yeah. just your, your coaching and cueing and all of that stuff and the energy you bring to it. That's really cool. I love that. Yeah. And you learn, you know, I mean, we all have our good days and bad days, right? I mean, it, you know, there's some days when I would walk into a class and phew, felt like trash, but man, just, just get in front of people that just want to sweat and hoot and holler yeah. and crank the music up and just rock out with some intensity and just sweat it out, man. Dude, that is so good. It's so healthy on so many levels. I, I, mean, I love it. 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 Um, <laughs> so Josh, what's what, what's going on for you at the moment? You know, obviously we're we're in this we're in a bit of a shutdown. The the world's come to a grinding halt. Um, but the beautiful thing is that health, fitness, well being, meditation, mindfulness, physical activity is not. So people are still super active. So what's going on for you at the yeah, moment? Yeah, I think for, so. For me, yeah, it's all about adaptation. You and I have talked about that you know, adapt and, and try to figure out what's going to be the best avenue for, you know, myself as a fitness professional, uh, somebody that's been in spinning for so long. Um, luckily, I've got a very supportive company that I work for, and they're sending me cameras, I mean, good cameras and microphones. And I've been spending the last few weeks, if you follow me on my Instagram page, <laughs> yeah. I've been going nuts on the studio in the basement to make it something that's high end, something that I feel like when I get on the bike down there, it's, it represents me and I can feel comfortable in that environment. The cool thing is, you know, with technology, I, think about it, Richard, I mean, even 10 years ago, there's no yeah. way this would happen. I mean, yeah. so there's a silver lining in all this. I think, you know, yeah, people are going to be working out at home more. Yeah, for a while, they're going to be working out at home. Um, so where are they going to get the best content from? And I feel like, that's the best I can do. So I've been taking my time with it. I've been very patient. And I talked about that. Um, just doing it right. I'm getting cameras this week from spinning. They've been testing it all on their set in California, putting it in the mail, coming to me. I've got more bikes coming, thankfully, through my contacts with our manufacturer, Precore. 
Um, and then all the lighting and everything else, I've been down there playing with it. So yeah, I've been, I've, I'm becoming more of a techie guy now <laughs> than I ever yeah, have. You're so. becoming a media production company, basically. But yeah. I've, uh, <laughs> yeah. I've, I've seen your studio and it looks pretty cool. I've seen photos of it, so I'm looking forward to that. But you know, when when your classes you know do start to go live, you know, you, you've got a massive fan base throughout the world. I mean, it's going to be the collective oneness of joining in. On a, on, a, on a virtual class with, with, with yourself, Josh, would be pretty immense, you know? Yeah, you know, I've been talking to Spinning about how, because I, I don't want to just say on Instagram, hey guys, live class on X, Y, and Z. And I know people are doing that, nothing wrong with it, but I, I kind of feel like I want to make this a bigger thing than just a, a live class. So my classes are all going to be, of course, on demand through Spinning Digital. And that yeah. platform that we have, that app that we have, they're going to be able to take live classes with me. And, you know, the, the world spinning a sports conference that was supposed to happen yeah the first of june that you and i were gonna go to yeah. i know we, yeah. all this craziness it was it was canceled um i usually do a an opening ride there a giant ride uh they bring in three to four hundred bikes pack it out you know it's a two hour ride and the weird thing is that the name of that ride this year was called rise up that's cool and uh i, I think my plan not 100 percent yet but my plan is to do a donation based ride we're going to go live with that from my house and we're going to call it rise up love it and i'm love going to have a theme ride to just launch this off and you know it's going to be me it's going to be me on a bike with a bunch of people that love to just ride and exercise and have a great time and hopefully we make a little bit of a difference you know donate some money to a charity that can help some people out there because lord knows a lot of them need help um so hey listen if we can take all, all of us have different platforms. I feel like if I can use it just a little bit of it to make a difference, both in the people that are well off and people that need as much help as they can, I think it's a really good way for us to be able to reach a lot. It's, it's one of the things I, I love about you, Josh, is you, every time we have a conversation at some point throughout, you're just like, hey, let's do a charity ride. Let's do something for charity. Like every time. And so yeah. I think that's pretty cool, you know, I, I, I love that, you know, so that's, that says a lot to your spirit and uh you know this this feeling of giving back um hey look i appreciate your time today i know you're super busy um you know and uh and i just appreciate all you do man for for us and and uh for me and and just for so many and um you've got a lot of fans out there that's for sure thank you rich i appreciate it man this is uh this is awesome man keep it up man you're doing you're doing uh, the fitness industry industry good my friend as always appreciate you pal <laughs> Take care.